right, so today we're in the kitchen and we're going to bake some donuts. Now, haven't tried this recipe yet, but it's a recipe I found online, um, which can be modified to be gluten-free, and I will further modify it to also be dairy-free. So a little bit of an exper experiment right now, but we'll see how it goes. So the recipe came from a blog called First Year Blog. Um, it's all dessert recipes, which all look amazing. I haven't tried them yet, but I will be um, going back to that blog. We'll provide the link to um, the recipe in the description box below. And the uh, recipe actually yields six donuts, um, but I'll be doubling the recipe to make 12 donuts. So let's get started. So I've measured out my two cups of flour. I am using the Bob's Red Mill one-to-one -one flour, um, which is in the blue bag. Um, it's a great, very versatile, uh, gluten-free flour. So I will be adding my, my sugar. Nutmeg. Baking powder. and salt. I'm gonna give that a good whisk. To mix it all, to mix it all together and get everything evenly distributed. Okay, I think that's good. So those are my dry ingredients. In another mixing bowl, I'm going to add my wet ingredients, which is milk. Um, I like to substitute oat milk um, when I'm baking. I think oat milk, personally, um, gives the best qualities of a true regular milk. vegetable oil and vanilla extract. And once again, I'm going to whisk the wet ingredients together to get these evenly distributed. that our wet ingredients came together very nicely. Um, and here's our dry ingredients. So we will be slowly adding the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients and combining them as we add. Starting off with just a little bit of that dry mixture just to see how things start to come together as we combine the two. So now we have our fully combined dough mixture. It actually turned out to be a little bit thicker than what I was expecting, um, but the instructions for the donuts themselves um, instruct to pipe the mixture into a donut pan. Um, so I will set up my, my piping bag, cut off a small end of my um, Ziploc bag here, and then I believe this is a 1A tip, but I will confirm that. So, kind of nice, nice piping tip for the mixture to traverse through. And I will, I will transfer the dough into my Ziploc bag. Now I've got my dough mixture transferred over and I do have uh, two pre-greased uh, donut pans. So adding the uh, piping tip ended up not working out. So we took the tip out and we will continue using the uh, 
the, the same Ziploc bag, just with the without the tip. We've got the donut pans fully filled with all the uh, batter. We're going to put the donuts in the preheated oven. I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit uh, for about 10 to 11 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. So, put them in the oven. So our 10 minute timer has um, elapsed. So let's check on how we're doing here. Now we're going to allow the donuts to cool in the pan for 30 minutes. We want them completely cool before we put them on the pan. So see you back in a little bit. So my first glaze is going to be a chocolate glaze. So I have one cup of semi-sweet chocolate morsels and one tablespoon of coconut oil, which I'm going to put in the microwave on 50% power for 30 seconds and then stir the mixture and then do another 30 seconds on 50% power again. Right, the first 30 seconds has elapsed, so go ahead and give this a stir. And go on for another 30 seconds at 50% power again. So the uh, second 30 second on uh, 30 second time on 50% power still didn't uh, give me the result I was looking for. So I went in two more times at 100% power, 20 seconds stirring in between each. Um, and I think I'm there. So now we're gonna have to let this sit a little bit before glazing the donuts and we'll be right back. My second glaze is more of a uh, Krispy Kreme copycat glaze. Um, I found this from a blog called uh, Dinner Than Dessert, which is a blog I really love. Um, some great copycat recipes, so you should check it out. Um, but I've got two and a half cups of powdered sugar, one quarter cup of oat milk, and one quarter cup of light corn syrup. So before putting this in the microwave, I'm just going to give this a little stir. and then go in the microwave for 30 seconds. So our Krispy Kreme copycat glaze has been in the microwave for 30 seconds um, on full power and we're gonna give it a stir and see how it turned out. Oh, nice. As my fork is getting deeper in the bowl, um, which is a pretty deep bowl, um, I am thinking it's a little too thick. So I'm going to, I think, just go in for 15 seconds at full power and um, we should be good to go. So the uh, 15 second timer has elapsed um, and I believe this 
glaze will be in good shape. And additionally, my timer for the chocolate glaze um, to let it cool a little has also ended so we can start glazing. All right, so I've got my chocolate glaze. I have my Krispy Kreme copycat glaze, and my plan is to do six donuts in the chocolate with sprinkles, um, six donuts in the Krispy Kreme glaze, and maybe some of them with sprinkles as well. So we'll see how it goes. Take my first donut, dip it in the chocolate glaze. Ooh. Now let's go straight into the sprinkles. Wow, look at that. Okay, let's keep going. All right, the donuts are all glazed, and next step is the taste test. So we'll let them settle a little bit, and then we'll see what they taste like. So now that I've got the kitchen cleaned up, it's time to see how they turned out. Um, one thing about the cleanup, I had intended to put paper towels under the cooling racks um, as I was glazing the donuts. That did not happen. It made a mess on the counter. It was cleaned up, but just uh, maybe a tip um, if you do these yourself to put paper towels um, under the cooling rack just to make it a little bit easier on yourself. So let's see how it turned out. It turned out very well. It's more of a cake donut texture, which from the consist consistency of the batter, that's what I was kind of expecting. But there's, um, there's a good balance of um, the sweetness with the, a little bit of tartness as well. It's very good. I'm going to really enjoy this. So thanks for hanging out with me today. Um, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Talk to you later. Bye. We'll provide the link to um <laughs> all right so now let's start piping the mixture out <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>